Hi friends, very warm welcome to the new session on SCP Cloud Integration Suite. My name is Sam. Okay, so let's just look at what we have planned for today. Okay, so today we have a very interesting topic planned, so which is, I think some people asked me this question, Sam, we have already created an integration flow, it's now been already running, and now we need to change the name of the integration flow, or the artifact. Is it possible? So, to answer this question, so the answer is definitely yes, we can actually change the name of the artifact once it's created. So now let's see how exactly we do into the system. Let me quickly go into the system. Let me quickly look at the integrations as such here. Now I'm just going to go into the design workspace. I'm just going to just step into my package. Let me go to that artifact. Now, let's say this is one of the artifacts which we have created. So, I think this is one of the real-time uh, artifacts which we have created with DHL services. Now, if we have given this kind of a name to this artifact, so where we do have this option. Now, let's say in case if I just step inside it, if you click on edit, so the edit option only is to make changes into this artifact feature-wise. Okay, so now let's say in case if we want to add any new options, if you want to remove it, that's it. But you don't see any option to change a name. So what you can do here is, I think there's a very interesting place here. You click on to this action, then what you can do is you can just click on the view metadata. So once you click on the view metadata, what happens is you have this details like, uh, and I would really appreciate in case if you have real time, always just try to give all the information. Now let's say in case if I want to edit this information, so what I need to do is, I can just quickly click on edit here. And what I can do is my we can just give the name as such. So I'll say integration with DHL servers. Okay. I can I can just give name like this. And what I can do is in case if I want to save it as a version, I can do that or my way I can just quickly click on save. So once I do the save here, what will happen is you will see the name is being changed. Okay. So again, again, very small, very quick, but people miss this kind of options here as such. Okay, so anytime if you want to change the name, quickly go to this view metadata and click on edit and you will be able to change it out. Now, one more thing which I really want to talk about here is now let's say in case of this iFlow is already being running. Okay, how does it work in that particular case? Now, let's say uh, yesterday you have ran this iFlow and there are like 50 times it's been executed. And now if you have changed the name, how it will work out? So guys, this will be one of the things I think that you need to take care of it. So till yesterday, whatever the name was, you will be able to monitor the integration with the same uh, name only in your monitoring part. Okay. But in case from now onwards, if you deploy this iFlow again, uh, and if you ran it, then you will see this name as such. Okay. So again, small thing, but you, you should take care of it. So yeah, I think this is pretty much about it. A small thing, and uh, yeah, if if you have any kind of a question, please feel free to reach out to us. Any uh, suggestion or recommendation? Uh, yeah, looking forward for that. Thank you.